Hello, this is Haka Bean, and today we are going to be reading level 43. Also known as Waterworld. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival Difficulty Class 3. This level is unsafe, unsecure, and has a low entity count. Level 43 is the 44th level of the backrooms. This level seems to be an infinite in aquarium theme park. Description. Level 43 is made up out of four main areas inside the park. These areas are hard to find, but these areas seem to build up to the final area. This level seems to keep certain anomalies, such as huge passes of fogs manifesting into level. You may, and you may rarely hear boat noises. The park itself is very empty and quiet besides a rare occasion of boat noises. No life can be seen and has an in a lingering and om ominous effect. Wow. This level seems to be banned by the amount of trash everywhere. Some of the rides and attractions are broken and dysfunctional. A female voice will repeat sentences on the comms and loudspeakers, such as, The park is closed. Please come back another day. The park will be under maintenance for a few weeks. Please contact a staff member for any missing items or, and objects, and various, announce and various advertisements. The park area. The first area you will encounter is the outside park area. This area is in pure day daylight and has many sidewalks that can seemingly lead to nowhere. Watering off the sidewalks will, will just lead you back to another sidewalk. Many structures can be found, such as restrooms, benches, lampposts, food stands, and another sidewalk. Oh, and signs. These are the only known objects that can appear. The signs that appear will, take, will talk about certain areas of the park, although they will most likely lead to a dead end or another sign. Locations on these signs can still be found around the outside area. No indies can be found in this area and is unnervingly quiet. After a while of watering, around two to four days, you will reach what appears to be the park in its normal state. The normal state of the park is still bad and broken, although most although all of the sidewalks are now accurate and lead to the right path. Many attractions lay its ways across the grass fields, although some are still standing. It seems to be this area is the middle of the entire level, and that the rest was just expansion via the backroom's effects. The center of the, this park is a large dome-like building that houses the aquatic life. At the entrance is a sign reading Waterworld, an information and an infamous inside the booth at the swing door wells, or ways. You will need a ticket to enter this location. <sighs> the main building. The second area is the inside of the main building. Inside this said building are many food courts and aquariums, all with many different species of sea life, and some undiscovered. Water power in this area is inactive, although it is unknown what is growing the aquariums. The waters in said aquariums have been tested, and studies have shown that the water is both safe water, I mean salt water, and almond water. Uh, depending on the type of fish, the salt water may change to fresh water. It is unknown how these aquatic creatures can survive in almond water as if it's normal. There is also an event that may occur when inside an aquarium room to where facelings will appear in a large group and observe the aquatic sea light. These facelings seem to have the level of the 11 effects as they are not hostile. Any contact with the facelink will result in ignorance from the entities. Once the water leaves the room, the facelinks will disappear. The entities found in the, this area are sinful death rats and hounds and the previously mentioned facelinks. These entities are very rare in this area and you'll most likely not encounter them. The rest of the building is broken and dark as the power is functional, although some lights will tend to flicker. Water seems to drift from the ceiling and walls. You may find advertisement posters on the walls about different brands of 
and the park itself. The food courts are empty with all dish with old dishes and trash randomly piled on the floor or some of these areas. Some walls are marked with graffiti, but this is a rare okay, occurrence. If you wander for another three to five days, you can make it to the staff halls via the a doorway that will have the label staff only. The staff halls. The staff halls area is a series of stout brick hallways with pipes on the walls and orange dim lights. A loud mechanical noise can be heard throughout the halls, which would probably be a backup generator, which would explain the earlier occurrences. The source of the noise is unknown and current studies are to be taking place via the MEG team trial testers. The halls themselves contain some average cleaning equipment such as mops and buckets. The pipes attached to the walls contain the same water that's inside the aquariums. The NDs that can spawn are smilers, skin sealers, dollars, watchers, death rats, and wretches. These NDs are great to find but will engage in hostile activities, so bring some equipment if you're going this far. Throughout the halls, you may find rooms with an, with an office like equipment inside the room. Many of these include desks and computers, which all but for few seem to be broken. The computers that are functional all contain messages and data containing aquatic research and business conversations. One anomaly is that these computer systems all contain a file that I present each device. The file itself is called newvideo.avi and is mostly corrupted. The content shown in the video is what seems to be a human running in the hall screaming as a flow of water follows behind. The feed cuts out when the recording devices submerge. An entity known as a fish creature swims up to the device. The viewing of this file is prohibited, and you must not start the video. Doing so will send a wave of water flooding the halls and the waterers within. This will affect all waterers within range, while not flooding the entire level and will eventually dis dissipate. Any waterers that interact with the flowing water will be sent to the final area of this level. Waterworld once in the final stage, the fish creatures will, will start to spawn, and the entire area is fully flooded. This area will cause an effect on the human body, which makes the wanderers able to breathe inside the waters. The area structure itself is now a mixture of all previous areas in one that are connected in impossible ways. The surrounding objects and barriers are no longer solid, and you will now be able to float through them as if it's not existent. This area is very dangerous, and is advised to exit immediately. All of the aquatic life is now free from their tanks and are now swimming throughout the area. The enemies that can spawn in this area are the fish creature, crusters, the enemies that spawn in other water like levels after you, you discover level 54, and smilers. Many normal and documented aquatic predators can also engage in hostile activity. These creatures can also float through the walls and can attack at any moment. Do not enter this area. All exits mentioned in below will function in this state. Basis, outposts, and communities. Minor outposts have been set up of in the first and second areas, but there are none in the third, and it's impossible to create any in the fourth area. Entrances and exits. Entrances. To enter, if you happen to own an aquatic related item, carry it to the metro. You'll be able to enter the level of 43 via the train. You can also enter level 43 via a tax card level 11, with a ramp chance of bringing you to this level. In the depths of level 7, a hole in the water can be found. The hole cuts through the water as if the water is solid. A drink a hole will have the water falling for about for around 3 minutes before blacking out and being transported to level 43 and a host of other levels. When the new levels in level 54 will one of the many doors in level 54 will also lead to level 50, 43. Exits. To exit, you can enter level 
level six to or, or level nine, be walking around the bushes in the first area for around an hour or two. So unbroken rides and attractions can lead to level 58. You can also enter level 72 and level 33 if you're walking around the second area for a few weeks. You're able to enter level 65 via the elevators using a functional arcade machine will bring you to level 40. Level 2 and level 4 can be entered while traversing the staff halls. Finding an open area in the final stage where the ship above it will lead to level 85. Finding a hatch in the final stage will lead to level 34. No claim like most level levels will bring you to the beginning of the negative levels. Jeez. I don't know if you were able to understand any of that. That was level 40 to give the back room. So if you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, Goodbye!